So what, let me now generalize it. So what is the primal saying? Try to see very carefully, beta. The primal, ek bari dhyan se hai baat ko, beta. So jab humne, I will write it for my case first. Huh? So beta, what is the primal we had written? The primal was maximize 20x1 plus 30x2 subject to, then we had the three constraints, 3x1 plus 6x2 less than equal to 150, x1 plus 0.5x2 less than equal to 22.5, x1 plus x2 less than equal to 27. Point five. This was 20. Sorry. But what happened when you wrote the dual? You wanted to minimize. Kya minimize kya tha humne cost ko. So 150 U1 plus 22 U2 plus 27.5 U3. Subject to kya constraints form kye te humne beta? We formulated two constraints. The first constraint that we formulated was uh, 3u1 plus u2. That was 3u1 plus u2 plus u3. And the second constraint we formed was u1 plus 0.5u2 plus u3. Ye form kya. Why was I able to write this even without seeing it back? Because the primal and dual, they form a method. Dual create karna bahut easy hai if you know the primal. And I will show you now how it is happening. Better look that dual ha primal has two variables, three equations. Two variables, three equations. So, beta, when you will write the dual of this, jab iska dual likhoge, it will change to three variables and two equations. Ye ulta ho so, you see, three variables and two equations. Ye pehli That's the first thing that happened. But I look at the second aspect. When you write the primal, then the coefficients of the objective function or the criteria function becomes the constraints here. So, hmm? what is objective function? Ke coefficients. Hai beta. Ye, 20 and 30. Wo yaha jayenge, 20 and 30. Clear wo? Next. So they will become, please write this down. They will become the constrained of the dual. Then with a third part. The constraint of the objective function, the right hand side a constraint key, it will become coefficient of the dual. So you see this, this is 150, 22, 27.5. You see, 150, 22, 27.5. It will become the coefficient of the dual. Can you be clear? So, dual ke ye teen coefficients banenge aur is, is teen variable honge. So, 150 u1 plus 22 u2 plus 27.5 u2. Next. Fourth part. The matrix of coefficients of primal will be transposed. The matrix of the coefficients of the primal will be transposed. Iska kya matlab hai, beta? If you look and convert this into a matrix. So, beta, what is the matrix? 3, 6, 1, 0 0.1, 1, 1. Ye matrix create ho rahe? I have to transpose this. So, transpose means rows become column, column become row. So, 3, 1, 1, 6, 0 0.5, 1. 
एंड यू सी इसका मेट्रिक्स यही है थ्री वन वन सिक्स जीरो पॉइंट फाइव वन सो दिस मेट्रिक्स विल बी ट्रांसपोज दैट्स द नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड लास्ट पॉइंट बेटा हियर यू विल सी लेस देन साइंस एंड दीज विल बी कन्वर्टेड टू ग्रेटर देन साइंस this is how you can go from the primal to the dual so fifth point that the signs will reverse if you do all of this then you can go from a primal to a dual so what are the things we are learning going from primal to dual one when i go from primal to dual the variables become the number of equations the number of equation become the variable second the objective function coefficients they change into the constraints and the constraints change into the objective function coefficients third the matrix that you are creating here gets transposed and becomes the matrix here and at last you will notice that these signs they reverse themselves is this clear to everyone this is what we have done here so look that here i have n variables so beta i will have n equations note that here i have m variables uh, sorry m equations so here i will have m variables right beta Note that this is a one one to a m one. Now this will go up. So a one one to a m one, right? A one n will come here. This will transpose itself. At last, the signs will reverse. Sorry, beta. This should be greater than, huh? The signs will also reverse. So this is what your difference between primal and dual.